Re-elected Mayor Patrick Brown is talking to reporters live in a scrum. Let's listen. Mayor, we're back up live on CP24. Congratulations on your victory. How are you feeling? I feel great. Uh, um, a big mandate, and uh, it allows us to go back to City Hall um, and work confidently that we have uh, the support of the vast majority of the city. You know, last time when I won, it was a very small margin, only one councillor supporter around the table, and I'm coming back here tonight with a large majority around the table and a, a massive majority uh, of uh, support from the city. We need more friends on council as well. It's been a dysfunctional council, essentially five on five since February. How do you bridge that gap moving forward to make sure that the people of Brampton actually do get work done from their elected officials? So now we have a clear majority around the council table. We're not going to have that type of dysfunction. I don't regret some of the decisions that, that, that I took. Um, I took on an old guard that had controlled Brampton for a very long time. I brought in an anti-nepotism policy that was very controversial, said you couldn't hire family members. I insisted that every contract had to be tendered. Um, um, because competition is the best thing for taxpayers. So I know when you bring change to a city, it can ruffle feathers, but that's the type of transparency and accountability that I expect, um, and I'm going to continue to ensure. We did over 100 town halls in the last four years, 100. I wanted to make sure that whether it's during the pandemic where I had Dr. Lowe on teletown halls or Chief Nish on teletown halls, we made sure that the residents had all the information I had because I think the best... The, the best um, source of confidence you can give to residents is transparency. Are you going to continue with the university fall? Are you going to continue to try and get another university or college campus here in Brampton? Absolutely. You know, as you know, um, we fought for a university. We had six councillors who were adamantly against a university. And I think there's no reason Brampton can't have both a college and a university. Of course, it's well known the the existing college opposed the university concept, but I believe young people in Brampton deserve the same opportunities as a young person in Waterloo, Sudbury, Kingston, Guelph, just to name a few much smaller cities that have a university. So I'm going to continue to be ambitious, fighting for more for Brampton. I think for far too long our city was shy and polite and we didn't stick up for ourselves. You've been clear that you wanted to run a, a clean campaign without the mudslinging uh, and it, it worked. Why do you think that resonated? So often in so many campaigns, the mudslinging tends to work, not in this case. Well, I think it shows um, in the hearts of hearts of our residents that there's more love and decency um, in residents than there's those um, that, that admire that type of U.S.-style negativity. And boy, did we see a lot of it um, this campaign. And so um, I think it speaks to the maturity of our city that we reject that type of toxic politics. Mayor, just in from the Nikki Core campaign, they've sent a notice to, to media saying, as of 9.20, a scrutineer at Brampton City Hall reporting multiple machines were locked and broken, that numerous technical issues were ongoing, including broken machines and locked machines. Uh, the scrutineer describing a lot of problems. What do you say to that? Um, I, think the, I think the campaign just got blown out of the water, and they're, they're probably looking for some talking points. Um, you know, our city clerk is a man of um, integrity and uh, um, um, I'm sure he um, ran a, a very fair uh, uh, election, um, and so, uh, you know, I would just say for those that misled on polls, those that tried attack ads, I think now is the time to um, acknowledge it didn't work rather than make excuses. Um, you know, we had people, paid political um, operatives who aren't from Brampton, they came in from far away um, to run a negative campaign. And they got soundly rejected. And so I guess they're a little bit embarrassed right now because they put out polls that were false. Um, they made uh, allegations that were clearly wrong. And, you know, I'll go back to this. Um, and I've said this before. You know, the reason I fired Nick Cavallis in 2016 when I was the PC leader was he retweeted a comment, Islam is poison. And I know he's here on a vendetta, um, but... I don't regret uh, dismissing him in 2016. I'll never have space, never give oxygen to hate, intolerance, um, and, and that type of ugliness. Thanks so much, Mayor. Congratulations.